This is all about customer service. And as I listened to the presentations today and learned quite a bit about uh, Paratrue over the last uh, year or so, I've learned that there's a lot of systems in place that you work on in your organizations. And the reason they brought me in today is not to talk about the systems, and it's amazing what technology can do, but talk about more of the people-to-people -people side of great service. I came up with this concept called the moment of magic because my passion for magic was there, but I read this book in the mid-1980s titled Moments of Truth by Jan Carlson. Anybody familiar with the book Moments of Truth? Good, a couple people are. If you read this book, you can go to any major bookstore and, and pick it up in the business section. Jan Carlson took a failing airline, Scandinavian Airlines, and he turned it around to be not only successful again, but to become the most admired airline in the entire airline industry. And he did it with a really simple concept called the moment of truth. And he defined the moment of truth in business as simply this. Anytime a customer comes into contact, and by the way, his customer was a passenger of his airline. Anytime that customer came into contact with any aspect of whatever the business was, however remote, they are going to form an impression. Anytime a customer comes into contact with any aspect of a business, they form an impression. That's the moment of truth. The basic premise is this. The moments of truth had to be good. And I call those moments of truth that are good, positive moments of truth, I call those moments of magic. The negative ones that he talked about, there's good ones and bad ones. Well, the bad ones I call moments of misery. I ask the man, is this your cab or are you like borrowing it for the day? <laughs> And he said, it's my cab, you make yourself at home, relax. The newspapers are yours to read, no extra charge, take them with you. The sodas are yours to drink, compliments of me, and have as much candy as you like. And by the way, it's a $22 flat rate. The same rate that any cab driver, any honest cab driver, would charge you from downtown out to the airport. He said, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. And I thought to myself, wow, the guy's good. We get onto the highway, and this guy asked me a question that no cab driver has ever asked me before. Are you in a hurry, or is it okay if I do the speed limit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> By that time, I'm drinking a soda and reading the paper. I said, just take your time. <laughs> we get to the airport, $22. He gets a huge tip, not just a few dollars, but groups of a few dollars. I couldn't wait to come back and do business with this guy again. What started out as a moment of... Misery, very good, turned into a moment of magic because he understood the difference between the satisfied customer and the loyal customer. You see, you take care of your customers. You create experiences that make them want to come back. Maybe it's the interactive experience that people might have of a call center. Maybe it's the interactive experience you'd have as in this web chatting. Maybe it's just the customer service that's driven through technology. Let me tell you, whether the experience is people to people, if somebody lands on an internet website and they're doing business with you through the web website, that is just as big and important of an impression that you're going to make with that customer. You have got to create a customer experience that is consistent with the people-to-people -people experience. And by the way, if ever the internet experience became better than the people-to-people -people experience of a company, well, that company's in big trouble. It all has to work together. It has to work seamlessly. It has to be consistent to create the confidence. <laughs> Marcus. In my pocket, I placed a card, predicting the card that you would be thinking of was this your card. No? You're kidding me. This was not it. What was it? You can tell me. Not that card. Thank you very much. Sit down. I do this to prove a point. Some customers just aren't worth doing business with. <laughs> But Marcus, you're worth it. You're, this was really not your card. What was it, seriously? The ten of spades. You want the ten of spades? I'll give you the ten of spades. Tell you what, sometimes you have to go the extra mile. Sometimes you have to do it the hard way. Once in a while, it's almost impossible, but if you want the ten, I'm going to give you the ten. There it is. How about a round of applause for all of them? Yeah! All right. The whole idea of this moment of magic concept is simple. Be better than average. Once in a while, it'll be an amazing, wow, incredible experience. But it always has to be consistently and predictably better than average. I've given you 10 common sense ideas. You already knew what they were, but they're packaged in such a way that if you take this back to your people and you remind them that these are the strategies that you need to implement when you're dealing with your customers, I believe you're gonna be on your way to creating those moments of magic. You've been a great audience. May you have many, many moments of magic. Thank you, everybody.